Hi everyone, welcome to Singapore. My name is Andy, I'm the travel runner, and these are my top five places to run when visiting Singapore. Let's check them out. Let's get started with a run along East Coast Park. This long and flat park is around 10 kilometers in length, making it a great place to do a run of any distance. Located along the southern coast, east of Marina Bay, a paved cycling and walking path runs the entire length of the park. On any given day, there will be no shortage of people out exercising, having a picnic, or just relaxing. The park provides great views of the sea, a good amount of shade, and if you're lucky, a sea breeze to keep you cool while you run. East Coast Park also has many restaurants, coffee shops, and toilets along the route, so you'll have no problem making any pit stops or grabbing food and water breaks on a hot day. If trails are what you're looking for, I recommend the McRitchie Reservoir, perhaps Singapore's most popular place for trail runners. At the trailhead, you'll find the Mushroom Cafe serving food and drinks and there are also coin lockers and showers available if needed. The trail itself is a 10.5 kilometer loop around the reservoir. Run the trail counterclockwise and you'll start off on a section of hilly, lush jungle trail where you may encounter monkeys, monitor lizards, and other wildlife. The back half of the run will be along a boardwalk providing you with beautiful views of the reservoir and perhaps some cooler temperatures. Staying on the trails and not far from the McRitchie Reservoir is Bukit Tima Nature Reserve, Singapore's highest point. Starting at the visitor center, run the short but steep hill up to the peak. From the top of the hill, take one of the many side trails to explore some more of the reserve. To add some distance, make your way to the Dairy Farm Nature Park and the Singapore Quarry. If great views are what you're looking for, consider running the Southern Ridges, located west of downtown. A paved walkway follows a series of hills from Mount Faber Park in the east to Kent Ridge Park in the west. Pedestrian bridges, an aerial view of Sentosa Island, and a treetop walkway make this route unique. Then drop down off the ridges and make your way to Labrador Nature Reserve. This coastal reserve is known for having some World War II relics, rich biodiversity, and a beautiful coastal boardwalk. Finally, a visit to Singapore wouldn't be complete without running around Marina Bay, Clark Quay, and Gardens by the Bay. A must-do run in Singapore the Marina Bay Loop offers great views of the Central Business District, the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, the Merlion Fountain, and the Art and Science Museum. This route is quite popular, and you'll be sure to see plenty of runners day or night, as this area is well lit, safe, and beautiful at night. You can finish off the run by heading to Gardens by the Bay. Here you'll find a quiet and peaceful scene in the morning. Zigzag along the many paths to see a huge variety of flora. Well, there you have it everyone, my top five places to run when visiting Singapore. If you know of other great places to run in Singapore, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more travel running videos in the future. Thanks everyone!